Hey guys, my name is Alex and this is another video about my attempt to resell a lot of books and pull in a little bit of money on the side of my full-time job. But for the past two months, I've been going to thrift stores after a deep dive into the sort of reselling corner of YouTube. It has not been going particularly well. There have been a lot of bumps in the road, but this is the first week where it felt like things were actually going pretty well. This week I sold um, Ham on Rye, which is Charles Bukowski's memoir. I sold it for $7.50. So that's $7.50 minus the $3.50 it will cost to ship and minus the 13% that eBay is going to take. So I think ultimately this is like a $3 profit if we ignore the fact that years ago I paid probably full price for it. I also sold a book called Everything and More by David Foster Wallace. I sold it for $10. And again, after shipping and eBay sales fees, it's probably gonna come out to like six bucks in profit. I sold a box set DVD of Alfred Hitchcock's uh, masterpiece collection. It's 14 movies on, I think, six or eight discs. I've seen a lot of Hitchcock movies and I have like a lot of opinions about Hitchcock, which we can talk about in a separate video someday. I was also surprised and delighted to sell my first edition hardcover of Fran Lebowitz's uh, Social Studies, which is the follow-up to her breakout essay collection, uh, Metropolitan Life. That one sold for $25, but it's been a couple days and the buyer has not paid up. So maybe that's gonna stay with me. And apart from that, I'm working consistently at the grocery store. And it's a good time, but as you may know, if you've worked any kind of retail, any kind of hospitality, people are fucking weird. And there has been sort of a learning curve in settling into the role, the skin of an all accommodating grocery guy. A couple nights ago, I was stocking shelves in the frozen section and an older man came up to me. He was well-dressed, he smelled like perfume, and while looking at me through what appeared to be very expensive eyeglasses, he said, corn. He said it in such a way that you could tell he thought it was spelled with a K. And when he, I, I of course, when this happened, I had no idea what the fuck that meant. And so I just said to him, okay, Penguin, since what we're doing here is saying random words to strangers. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, I didn't say that. Instead of that, I said to him what I have to say, which is, you're, you're looking for corn? And of course, immediately, understandably, he's completely exasperated. He says, I'm looking for corn, where's the corn? As though he's been searching for hours. And again, I'm still trying to wrap my head around just the request. Corn. And I said, well, are you looking for corn in a can? He's looking around, like he's got places to be. Bapo, corn, corn. It was just here. He said, it was just here, as if the, the corn left. As if the corn had been right where I was standing, it had been replaced with an imbecile. And to be fair, that is a recurring problem at this particular Miami Beach grocery store, which is that the corn is haunted. Just kidding, the corn is not haunted. What he means when he says, it was just here. I came here a week ago, I bought some corn, I don't remember where I found it. I ate the corn, thought it was delicious, I pooped its undigested kernels into a bowl, and this morning I said to myself, let's do that again. But since he was not inclined to be so cooperative, I just like, I, I beckoned my colleague over, who's older, he's been there longer. So my colleague comes over and I'm like, hey, this gentleman is looking for the corn. My colleague looks at me the way I looked at the guy, which is to say, what is that? Like, what kind of corn? How do you want it? So he turns to the gentleman and he goes, sir, did you mean like frozen corn? And the gentleman replies, corn, corn. I was just, I was just here, corn. So my colleague takes him to the aisle where there is canned corn and there is dry kind of roasted corn kettles. And he wasn't looking for any of that. He was looking for what, it's like this roasted version. It looks exactly like Kellogg's corn pops, but it's like roasted and dusted with cayenne or something. Anyways, shit like that has been happening every day. And I'm learning how to take it. It's been a good time. I'm enjoying this job. It's nice. It's easy. The people are friendly. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's nice and it is imaginatively restorative to be working on like creative literary storytelling ventures in the morning and to then know with total certainty that when I get to work later that day, I am going to encounter a human being who just just confuses me. I think it's just the nature of the beast of working in a grocery store that people are hungry and they're in a hurry and communication is not really on the menu. That is it for this particular reselling vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in checking out the eBay store, there's a link in the description. My email is also below if you want to get in touch for any reason. Anyways, all right. Thanks for listening, watching. I'll talk to you next time.